okay welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to create design token but now we are not using figma token in this video we are using supernova so without further ado let's get started okay before we start you must have at least one file figma to so because we will need uh, share your figma file and connect it to supernova platform and inside your file you must have the some style that you already create yeah, you already define and for example in uh in file i already created it has text style color style and fx style and this style based on figma token but if you not familiar with figma token is okay it's not necessary but you must have yeah you must learn the foundation how to create the design token so because it's the same basic we so uh, figma token is more a bit technical but with supernova is more more ui okay more friendly uh for the interface okay okay let's access to supernova website and dashboard okay okay so this is the website of supernova and in supernova i would say it has four main features one is define token create uh, second is uh, define uh, create the documentation uh, three is uh, uh, oh export uh, programming language yeah export to your token to some programming languages such as android uh, uh, swift ui react um, flutter and css uh, yeah it, it is some some uh, some exporter you able to try yeah and also you able to integrate integrate it with your repository such as the uh, github gitlab and big bucket okay and uh, supernova offer for free free uh, free account yeah so if you access the pricing uh yeah for the personal if you want to learn how to use it so it's as free tier yeah so you can sign up but if you know how to use it and is uh helpful for the team yeah you can you can subscribe yeah uh, this platform so yeah uh a few years ago supernova is not design system uh platform but supernova it could uh, like it was uh, editor yeah editor to diff to create the interaction mobile yeah interaction code lah yeah okay so you can register and once you already register it will show like this so this is the dashboard of the the supernova and i haven't added the my my design system to the supernova okay and I will integrate with my uh, Figma file into uh, to this platform. Okay, after you already register, and so you will see this uh, interface or so this uh, page because it's still empty, and you must create the design system name. And okay, uh, I will create. Yeah, I will click the design system and you can name it what's your what it's your design token so in my case my design system called the project hmm. the project Q okay and you hit confirm okay so this is the first time you once you create your workspace and it will show a model pop up like this uh, to see what's the feature uh, supernova can uh, offer to to the user so the main features is uh, create the token and so this is the uh, our workspace to to create the design token using supernova 
so you can read uh, what's the features and next is what's that okay so you can uh, create the taming token directly in uh, supernova okay I will hit get started okay so the first is we don't have any token yet now yeah and to integrate your Figma token to supernova you can uh, add the add the data source so the data source mean you need to integrate your Figma file into this platform okay so I will add my 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 token I mean my share file my Figma file I will add into this platform and I will import so you can add the style so you can select all but if you don't if you don't want to select all you can select which the component that you want to add into this platform so in this case I only add this uh, style only so because yeah I already uh, I defined the component but in this video we are not talking about the component okay so I will hit import okay and wait until the system uh, import all the style okay so this is the already done okay if you want to see you can see here so it has some warning but still don't know not published not published our phone in this file hmm what what was wrong yeah okay public published style okay let's see what's uh, what's the issue okay as you can see uh, it has some warning one warning uh, in the data source okay so they said no published style were found in this file means that uh, your figma file must publish to uh, to your I mean like the ex external library okay I think I will show you in figma okay so in my file I haven't published this uh, this um, yeah this library into as uh, external library okay so yeah I haven't published it yet so to publish your figma file as the external or remote library so you can hit publish so figma detect because this file is still in draft it has a it's two choice okay one move this file into a pro professional plan professional team or if you only need to publish your uh, style only you're not you, yeah you're able to do that but for the component you're not able to do that okay in this case I will publish but only for style okay style only okay I will publish as style because I need only uh, style to generate it to the supernova so I will hit publish style and so you don't worry if your Figma account is free so you able to publish uh, your style but for if your uh, your file has some component so you're not able to do that but you if you want to move or if you want to uh, publish include your with the component yeah your account must must a professional team okay I will hit publish style and I will publish style hit publish style and wait and the publishing done okay now it's successfully okay let's get back to the data source on supernova okay now let's try to uh, uh, updates okay gets update hits get update hopefully will will not show the warning again 
So I will hit and we'll see the importing progress. Okay, now we we have 30, 136, yeah, 139 and with 36 warning. Okay, okay, but okay, you can ignore. So as you can see, because I only need style only here to import this style. But if we see, we already successfully added a uh, style, yeah, import style into this platform, okay? But for the uh, component, so you can, you can ignore it, okay? Okay, now we, we go to the, the content. Okay, so here is the, the tokens. The token based on your color style in figma file okay so this is the token because i already create uh one second i have uh three four so i have four as the master tokens and so this is uh, like primary stakeholder blah blah blah, blah. this is the alias so yeah so this is the information of the token uh, already imported uh, with a supernova platform okay what's next so you need to have you need to some adjustment here because uh, from figma file i already uh, uh, integrate or import uh, style into this platform it has uh, as you can see it has some uh, warning 36 warning means this because I define this uh, this uh, token color token based on Figma token uh, but for now yeah uh, Figma token plugin is uh, not available but uh, in the future will be integrated into this uh, supernova platform but for now we, we still do it manually Okay, so from supernova perspective, so this, uh, I mean, from uh, system, okay, it's not perspective, okay, from system, so they has some issue. Some issue means if you define this as the same name, uh, they will ignore uh, uh, to, to import actually, but from my case, yeah, from my perspective here, I already uh, create some uh, some group token based on color like uh, semantic or button so but yeah I don't know the supernova ignore it but it's okay so you can define the name whenever you want but if you have uh, yeah but if you found some error like this so you can read carefully and see what uh, they ignore so in this case, uh, my token found some a duplicate token name, so they will ignore to add. And yeah, I think that's uh, it's okay because it's just for tutorial. Okay, and yeah. So what's next? So you able to set the token set so you can define what's this, what's the primary, what the secondary. So. Uh, because there's a lot of my token here so I will give you some example so primary mean as the master token so primary uh, secondary semantic yeah and also natural it's the uh, primary uh, I mean master token so how to define as the token set you can add as the core let's say this is the core so you can select this is the core uh, okay let's say it's a core okay this is the core so you can uh, you can set what's the, the you can define the tokens and if you want to add a doc theme so you can able to define inside this platform so because i will not create the dark, dark theme here but the concept is the same so you can create or uh, you can connect it to to master token that you already defined but for now i will not talking about the dark team here 
okay so let's uh, yes the same thing if you have secondary what's the token set you want to define as core or semantic semantics means the color of semantics mean like uh, red yellow green that's the semantic so this is the sing s y s yeah this is the semantic so i will define this token as a semantic okay so i will add a semantic okay but why this not i don't know but it's okay okay should should i add one by one here oh, let me refresh okay you can continue to add a core okay this is my example but i will not continue to fill out all uh, set yeah set token set just give you some uh, example and for the system so as a system means for the uh, semantics i will add a semantic okay this is for the semantic okay so semantic means system color okay uh and then neutral i would say this is for semantic uh, okay i will define as semantic okay you can select or you can define uh, uh the properties but for now i will keep the same as default and okay now we are talking about the alias okay so this i already created and i want to uh, this text color as default i want to uh, create an alias so to create an alias you can hit this link and you can set so the system will detect uh, yeah, uh, this file uh, this this color is the same with neutral do you want to add as the alias master color yes i will add this one and let's see the difference between this to this it has some symbol it has one symbol means this link a link to uh link to this uh, uh this master okay i will uh, click i will create the alias so i will hit and and nr70 as the alias okay and i will add the uh, set the color as the component because this color will be used for yeah for text for button for any uh, specific uh, related with uh, yeah based on this uh, this group's uh, token because it's about the text color so means this will be used for the text okay and yeah i think that's all about uh how to add how to create alias how to define the token set but for the duct team i think i will i will create separate uh, video but the concept is the same thing so if you want to add the duct team one you want to create the alias uh yeah you want to create the alias or uh you will you you can define you can found oh yeah you can define what's the alias for the duct team based on your uh master token okay okay i think that's it for now okay thank you for watching my video i hope you get my point and if you have a question you can leave a comment and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you soon bye bye